Hello everyone, this is going to be an important video for those who are going to attempt GATE architecture this year and in this video we will be discussing as to how to use the scientific calculator from GATE architecture point of view with some examples we will be going through those details. So uh, many students had this confusion, have this confusion uh, as to what would be the scientific on screen scientific calculator as you all are aware you are not allowed to carry on your own physical scientific calculator in the gate examination you will be having an on screen scientific calculator always available to you during the course of the examination so we will be looking into now in the gate examination in gate architecture and planning there are some cases where you will also need to use the scientific calculator to apply some complex equations so we will be looking into those details in this particular video uh, i would be taking you through the official website of the gate examination in order to use this scientific calculator i would all i would strongly recommend you all also to do the same go to the official website of gate 2024 and there is a portal there's a there's a web page for the mock test uh, links and you can open the architecture mock test which essentially is the last year's paper you can check out the interface how is it going to be in the actual examination so once you sign in into it you need not put in any sign in value so you can directly open it using the link given in the mock test portal and uh, you can go through the interface so let us also look into the details let me open it again just give me a second so uh, now it is important to have a practice of these points before the actual examination otherwise uh, it can create a, if if you have not practiced or have not used it earlier it can create a confusion and during the actual examination later on so uh, so let me select next accept the declaration i'm ready to begin so this is how uh, the actual web exam also will be on the 3rd of february uh, so this year so you can see that this is the last year's question paper in the form of a mock test now this video as i told you it is focused on using the scientific calculator so let me open up so you can check out all these sections of architecture general aptitude all these parts common part architecture part and planning part you can open up and see all the questions of the last year in the form of question paper format you can see you can select any one b1 or b2 as per your uh, uh, say uh, area of interest whichever you want to attempt so irrespective of that for now let me focus on the scientific calculator over here so let me give you some examples which i will be showing you through for instance if you look into the manning's equation which is an equation used in the calculation of velocity of flow in the area of what is applied sewage systems particularly for open channels velocity is given you know the manning's equation probably from your preparation it is given by 1 upon n into hydraulic radius to the power of 2 by 3 into slope raised to the power of 1 by 2. So let me apply this equation and show you how the calculation can be done in the examination uh, for this particular uh, equation. So let me write it again over here. So Manning's equation is given by velocity is equal to 1 upon the coefficient of Manning's coefficient of roughness into hydraulic radius to the power of 2 by 3 into slope raised to the power of 1 by 2. So for this example, let us say I will take the Manning's coefficient of roughness to be 0 0.01. Let us say the hydraulic radius which from my calculation let us say it is came, co coming out to be 0 0.54 or something like that. Let us say slope is 0 0.05. Uh, so let me substitute these values using the scientific calculator let us try to answer this question now in the examination you will be having a rough sheet whenever you get such questions it is important to first write down on the rough sheet what is it you are going to type into the calculator so let me first put out these values into that equation so it is basically 1 upon 0 0.01 multiplied by the second term is the hydraulic radius which is 0 0.54 raised to the power of 2 by 3 close the bracket so using the brackets correctly is very important from the exam point of view for the calculator and the third term the th there are three terms here the third term is slope raised to the power of 1 by 2 that is 0 0.05 raised to the power of 1 by 2 so let let me using these brackets type it into the calculator and show you so the first term is 1 upon 0 0.01 so let me open the bracket 1 upon 0 0.01 close the bracket so do not uh, basically there are two boxes over here one is the input box and the other where you have the overall equation typed so that's the first term first term value is given over here so do not get confused by looking into the output box there's an input box and an output box in the scientific calculator the second term now uh, it is 0 0.54 
raised to the power is in the form of x raised to the power y so let me use this x power y raised to the power of i will open the bracket again because it's a fraction inside the brackets 2 by 3 and close the bracket i'll be closing the bracket twice 0 0.54 raised to the power of 2 by 3 one bracket for 2 by 3 and the other for the overall term and then i'll multiply again the next term would be open the bracket again for the next term 0 0.05 raised to the power of again open the bracket because it's a fraction you're typing into it 1 upon 2 close the bracket twice do not think the, the value which you see over here that's just the value of the outer bracket so you need to press equal to in the last step that is very important so once you type the complete equation correctly press is equal to and that's how you'll get the answer so the answer for this particular question the velocity value should be 14.8 so round off to two decimal places generally from exam point of view so it will be 14.83 meter per second if you have taken the hydraulic radius in meters so that's how the output would be so remember the output value is something which you get only after you press equal to in the end so just don't think okay i've done my completion complete uh, part i've just typed in and you cannot stop there because the value which which was originally shown that's just the value of the outer bracket the last term so press equal to that's very important practice some questions from your end from the official website open the mock test or even our test series has a get calculator on screen calculator you can practice when you have sufficient practice you'll not feel that it is something new in the examination now this is one let me give you one or two more examples for better practice just for this session so that was hydraulic radius let us also apply it is very important to also understand how to apply trigonometric functions that is sine cos tan uh, so let us say for instance you want to find out tan of 35 degrees let us say tan of 35 degrees is what you need to find in some calculation let it be say it is from lighting point of view or from slope calculation point of view let us say you want to calculate tan of some value now in a normal calculator probably if you have been practicing from your mobile phone or say other physical calculators we generally start by typing tan first but here you cannot do that if you write directly type in tan it would be show you the value of tan zero so you need to first type the value for which you need to find the tan that is 35 degrees and then press tan that will give you the value for tan 35 now, these might be very simple points but there are confused so many students are still confused about it and that's the reason why we are putting out this video particularly for the architecture and planning students so tan uh, first type the value and then press tan and is equal to that will give you the val value that will give you the answer now one more important point generally in the scientific calculator of the gate examination it displays as tan d that basically denotes that you're taking the value in degrees d specifies degrees you can make a selection between degrees and radians now from gate architecture point of view there are no calculations generally where we apply radians it is in degrees that we generally solve most of these questions of lighting slope calculations in landscape architecture plumbing sewerage even uh, solar architecture shading devices we generally apply tan values in degrees so that's what you can select so tan d over there it represents that the values in degrees so do not get confused again on this by looking into what is tan d it is nothing but tan of a value taken in degrees other than that as far as log values are considered let us again take up an example if you want to look into the conversion between sound pressure level to power level you have an equation sound power level is given by uh, sound pressure level minus sorry sound pressure level is given by sound power level minus modulus of 10 into log of q by 4 pi r square that's an equation we use for conversion of sound pressure level to power level or power level to pressure level the conversion this is sound power level this is sound pressure level let us say you want to find out the sound pressure level and the sound power level is known to be something like say 70 decibels and let us say the directivity factor q is 1 and let us say the distance r is 10 meters so applying these let me try to find out what will be the sound if you want to find out the sound pressure level so let me apply this equation using these given values so let me type uh, first write it over here so because it is a simpler part this part is just directly 70 you can leave it out you can check out the subtraction part later you can just focus on the modulus part first so always work out from the complex to the simpler part that way it will be easier for you to score or uh, to reduce the errors in the examination so 10 into log of something so first let me find out log of the number that is 1 by 4 into pi into r is 10 10 square is basically 100 so you try to simplify it so first let me find out this value then i'll multiply it with 10 
whatever i get i'll subtract 70 minus that value modulus of that value that'll give me the answer for this question so first let us try to find out this value again for log also it is just like the trigonometric functions not like a normal calculator you don't start by typing log because if you do that there are various types of terms over here ln and log you will be using this log which is to the base 10 in the acoustics based questions so if you directly start with typing log you will get log 0 is equal to infinity which is not what we are looking for you should first type the value inside the bracket so practice some questions that way you will have confidence in the examination so let me type the value in the brackets i'll open a uh, let us say this is 1 upon let me uh, let me type down uh, type the values with the denominator by opening a bracket 1 upon 4 into pi is already given over here i'll be using that pi into 100 close the bracket now the uh, the value is being shown as 12, 1256 but that not that's not the value which we are talking about here it is the value inside the brackets you need to press equal to and that's when you'll get the answer now i want to find out log of this value now i will be pressing log right so log of this value so log of this value has come out to be minus 3.099 right so 10 into this basically will be uh, so 10 into this value will be 30.99 minus 30.99 modulus of it will be positive so the answer for spl will be equal to 70 minus modulus of this is 30.99 so now you can calculate this directly 70 minus 30.99 you'll get the answer uh 39.01 that's the answer for this question right so make sure that you practice some of the numericals particularly uh so that you are not confused during the time of the examination and you should not be in a situation that you're using the on-screen scientific calculator for the first time in those three hours of the examination no that is not what you should be expecting so have a sufficient practice i hope this was helpful i've taken you through three models with the help of an example and showed you how to use the scientific calculator thank you for watching this video all the best for your examination and any further queries you have you can reach out to us on the contact number displayed on the screen for this video and if you are preparing for gate 2025 the next year you can enroll into a batch which is already which has already started and you can contact us on the number displayed on the screen to enroll into the batches at the earliest thank you all